How's everybody doing today? All 180 of you lovely subscribers. Welcome back to the Easy Astro Image channel. I am Chad. Today, we're going to talk about things that make our Astro images easy to do in PixInsight. We're going to talk about all of the top scripts that I like to use for easy, fast processing of my images. When I get that data in, I just can't wait to see it. This is the best way to do it. I have spent the past month deep diving into atom block tutorials, visible dark and everybody else to continue my pics and site growth and journey. And I will present you with some of those improvements when I feel the time is necessary. But I think right now, a lot of you guys are still at the beginning on your pics and site path as am I. And these scripts can make your life easier, do complicated processes way faster and easier for you. And then you can start to just peel the onion back layer by layer and investigate and start playing with little things that these will do automatically for you, or perhaps things that we can do better without them. So let's get to it. Now I do have a link to all of these scripts in my description below in the video. So don't forget to just drop down there, give this video a like, drop a comment. Let me know what scripts that I might be missing. So we got a couple awesome images here. I got about five or six hours in the other night and I split time with my William Optics GT81 between the horse head and the pinwheel and the clouds rolled in a little bit and kind of took away from the pinwheel, but this horse head looks just amazing. It looks better than the one that I shot last year for two hours and 45 minutes of data. I cannot believe how much detail there is inside here. I am super excited. So I've already just done a dynamic background extraction, a crop, all that kind of stuff. So let's just go ahead and run our first script on here, which is gonna be the auto color script. Now, once you get the auto color script and install it, it will be right here under utilities. And literally all you do is just click auto color and it's going to automatically balance your colors. It's still going to leave a little bit of green in there. So you're going to want to run an SCNR to take out some of that green, but Hey, this is just awesome. You'll see a change here in a second. And there we go. The auto color script is complete. And again, like I said, you can just kind of come in here with an SCNR and you can just take out some of that green. And there we go. We have a nice, beautiful, pleasing image. Now the next set of scripts is gonna be probably the biggest set of scripts that's gonna help you in your Pixel Site journey. And that's the Easy Processing Suite. It's been out forever. It keeps getting constantly updated. I use two or three of his scripts all the time the easy denoise and the easy deconvolution. So I'm gonna run just the easy denoise on this. This data looks pretty good, so I don't think we really need to do any deconvolution on it. So once you get these installed, you will just see it right there, easy processing suite. He's got a lot of great stuff on in here too. I kind of use the easy HDR sometimes in order to pull out like details in the core of a galaxy. So that's always great. And I also like to use the easy star reduction if I don't feel like using star exterminator or Starnet plus plus, but using star exterminator is my preferred process. Once you start the easy denoise script, it's pretty much just a one and done. You can go in here and lower settings if you want to. You can run this on a preview if you don't have the time in order to see what it's gonna do to your image. But 99% of the time, it is gonna work just fantastic. So we're gonna take this image, which is non-stretched, and we're gonna just run it, and we will show you the results when we get back. Now you can just see all of the things that are being populated here, masks, integrations, all kinds of good stuff, multimedia transform, TGV to noise, just all of this stuff that you'll definitely wanna learn about, but it's just doing it all for us. Oh, just look at that. We've got a beautifully smooth and denoised image. Man, it could be ready to just print out and put on a wall right now. And now we're gonna run the Easy Soft Stretch, which is part of Dark Archon's processing suite. You can kind of play around with this a little bit, see what you think. Some people, depending upon your image, you might wanna run it a little bit lower, like maybe around 1615. Keep an eye on your histogram here. Make sure that you're not clipping anything out. 
I think in this case, we'll just go ahead and permanently stretch this at about a factor of 18 and boom, there is our image. Look at all of that detail that is in there. Still smoothed out from the noise. Man, it just looks amazing. I can't believe this is only two and a half hours of data. Now these color masks with pixel math are definitely interesting. You might not use these a lot, but they work on, but on some images, they are gonna work just spectacular. So we try out one of these color masks here. Let's say that we want to try to bring out some of this blue. So let's click on the blue color mask here and it's gonna make a mask. And the mask it made is basically gonna allow us to manipulate the blue. And there's also this nice little blurring shortcut here. And I'm not sure how this is all gonna work because there's not like a clear definition of blue in this image, but we can just kind of see what, what it'll do here. And red protects. So if we go ahead and hide the mask, we can go into our actual curves transformation and we'll click on the real time preview. We'll select the blue channel and let's just see if we can crank up our blues. There they go. Look at that. We're just working on the blues. How awesome is that? And how easy was that? We were able to just pull those blues up super easy with that color mask. And you could just do that with any image that you have. It works just simple. I like that right there. We're gonna do that to our main image. Boom, there we go. Look at those blues just pop. Now, one of the other cool is going to be the dark structures enhance. So what we're gonna do is it will bring out all of this dark structure here. And really it, all you gotta do is just open it up and click on okay. And we're gonna watch the horsey head here just pop right out of the screen. Boom, look at that. The horse head just popped right out. We've got dark structures going on there. We've got a little bit here. The flame just totally popped right out at us awesome stuff here these scripts are just amazing you just cannot be processing without these things maybe the last little thing we'll do is run an easy star reduction with dark archon again it's literally just a one click and there we go a little bit of star reduction and a beautiful astro and a beautiful astrophotography picture that mom would be proud of and hang on the refrigerator. That might even go on a Christmas card. So anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot for stopping by. We will talk to you later. Peace.